packing up for the bike trip. It's going to be three days. So anyone who's been on a bike trip knows that you have to wear biking shirts. So of course we've got one, two, and three Harley shirts for the three days we're gone. Nothing else will do unless maybe you have a Hard Rock, hard rock Cafe shirt or a Big Dogs shirt will work also. But if you have Harley shirts, you have to wear those. Otherwise, I don't know, you break the code. So yeah, one pair of pants, one pair of clean underwear, and that's it. You just let it rock. Well, we're just about to hit leg two of the journey here. Got to my dad's last night. I hit my trip a little late, so we're closer to 300k so far, but we're just outside with Tasquin. We're heading to Jasper here shortly, so get the fuel and hit the road. And just another rule when you're biking, when you fire it up, you have to give it two quick snaps of the throttle just to make sure everyone knows that you're on a bike and that you're a badass. Luckily we found this gas station because there's no more till Edson, but that's another 100k, so through one rainstorm. Oh, oh. Try and get on the road before we get stuck in that. <laughs> well, we're uh, 640k into the trip. We're at Obed Mountain Rest Area. We gotta dry out a bit. I don't know if you can see the storm. We're about 60k past it now, but uh, we decided just to push through. We were just gonna catch the tail end, which we did, but there's still lightning and thunder and poured buckets, um, got hailed on. I learned that riding through hail and rain on a motorbike feels like getting your forehead tattooed. So that was fun. But uh, bright and sunny, beautiful day now. We're dried already. We're how far we are. 100k to Jasper, something like that. So I'm gonna have a quick pee and hit Jasper and then mose around town for a bit. Just pulled into Jasper. Wind storms, hail storms, dust storms. Dust storms. Bright and sunny here though. We are just cruising down the strip. We smelt something delicious, so we wheeled in and uh, we're gonna go find that restaurant. <laughs> Cause we're starving, we haven't eaten since breakfast, so. Hopefully no one steals our stuff. Let's go get something to eat. Bike camping. This counts, doesn't it? <laughs> Beautiful spot. Jonas camping ground. Well, we got camp set up. Brought the hammocks back. Uh, I'm not sure that dad is completely sold on the idea of hammocks yet, but uh, he tried it out, said it was good. We'll uh, get the verdict in the morning. But we were rolling by, we didn't quite make it as far as we wanted to today. But we're only about an hour from uh, Saskatchewan crossing. Um, we're getting pretty close to the Columbia ice fields, started getting cold, sun is going down. We've seen a little self registration campsite here. So we thought we'd check it out. 26 bucks a night. Huge pile of firewood, it's already cut. Fire pit, yeah, right there. Uh, 
so we can get a good, get warmed up, have a little drinky poo, get a good sleep. And him and I are both early birds, so we'll probably be on the road by like five. Anyway, let's start a fire and uh, crack a beer. So, just like two seconds from the cam. Typical mountainside stock. Get to the little bridge. But we got our full on river. So awesome. So, <laughs> when I was packing for this trip back on the prairies, it's like 28 degrees. It was actually a heat warning because it will drop below 15 degrees at night. I brought a light little sleeping bag, no extra warm clothes. Not thinking that we would be camping about 50k from a glacier. So, me and Dad froze all night. He just checked his bike. It's only three degrees right now. <laughs> I don't know how much he slept, but I didn't sleep. Maybe two or three hours all together. I just slept. I had to go put my leathers on. So. It's about six in the morning now fire rolling, trying to get our bones warmed up and get the road I guess. Eat some cold bone sandwiches. Right. How's that for breakfast? Warm bologna sandwiches. <laughs> and pepperoni sticks. Mm. Really good. Columbia Ice Fields. It's like Holland Rock in February. So, you can see how steep this is, but it goes right to there and straight down. Well, we gotta get there. Well, we gotta sneak all through here to get down. Should be a fun ride. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. So, we we're just about to leave. I just noticed. There's a sheep right here, and another one right here, staring at us. Nobody knows it but me. <laughs> and Dad now, but I had to tell him. Somebody 
said no more stops. But this lake is just too pretty. Man, that is pretty. Jump in. <laughs> so cold though. You want to swim in it, but you will die. So we just rolled into Banff. It was three degrees when we woke up this morning. Uh, a spot we camped just kind of by Columbia Icefield, big glacier. Freezing cold all night. Roll into Banff here and it's 28 degrees. It's hot and it's busy. And neither dad nor I know where to go. We just need to get a patch for our vests and get back on the road. But <laughs> We can't even find Main Street, so one of the worst tourists. Gas is not the worst I've seen, but the highest I've paid. We'll say that. The cowboy Trail. I'm gonna follow this river and skirt the mountains from Tanmore up to Concord. What a fun ride, though. You guys have been on. If you haven't been on Highway 1A, you gotta do it. Lots of curves, lots of winds. Lots to look at. By the time we left Banff, we were already a few hours behind. So we hit the highway and rolled on that throttle to book it back to Wetaskiwin. The hot, sweaty gloves mixed with the vibrations of the bike left my poor baby hands with a blister, as you can see in these pictures. Just shy of 1600k. <laughs> well, it is now Sunday afternoon, I guess. I got home Friday morning. We're finally getting out this bike to unpack. We've just been busy, busy since I've been home. But just looking at my uh, bags here, they took a beating. They were kind of rough when I left. I noticed a few things, but like everything's ripping and falling off. So it's gonna need a bit of repair. <laughs> the other thing I noticed is my windshield after rattling all the way home. See that everything's coming loose. So I gotta tighten all that up again. That's never happened before, but I guess that's a lot of miles in two days. My letters have just been out here for two days. But yeah, we'll get her put away and hopefully ready for the next trip. So you've probably seen in all the pictures and videos that I had this vest on. Uh, this vest was actually a gift from my dad and stepmom like a year ago, two years ago. Um, for the purpose of these trips. And what we're going to do is just everywhere we go. So we got BAM. Columbia Icefield, Jasper, Bat Harley Davidson. Everywhere we go on our bikes, we're gonna buy a patch and we're gonna sew them on the back. So it's just gonna be a big keepsake and a memory so uh, we know where we've been and stuff. So here's a pin from Edge Harley Davidson, the Lloyd Minster Harley shop, which is actually closed now. So that's kind of cool. You'll never get a pin like that again. Uh, Go fast, don't die, and a November pin. So, but yeah, so I'm gonna get these sewn on and uh, start the collection, I guess. So, I'll uh, show you what it looks like when we're done. Well, there we have it. They don't own an iron, so I just did it the OG way. Sewed them on. 
a little rough looking, but it looks sweet, I think. Some people might have these patches, but they won't have our stories. And they won't have these blood stains from where I poked myself with the needle. Sewed on, ready for the next trip.